This is Math 99, uh, practice test number three. This is problem number three, and I'm supposed to solve this equation. And I could do it by some elimination, either eliminate y or eliminate x, or I could try and do substitution, maybe solve for x and substitute it in. I'm going to do um, elimination, and I notice that that's a negative 3y and that's a 2y. So if I made this a 6 and this a negative 6, when I added the equations, y's would cancel out. So... I'm going to multiply this top equation by 3 and multiply this bottom equation by 2. So um, as I multiply this by 3, 3 gets distributed to everything. So that becomes 9x plus 6y equals uh, 72, I think. 26 times 3. Whoa. I don't know what happened. Sorry. And, uh, oh no, 78. Yeah, because that's 18. 78. And as, as I multiply everything in here by 2, this becomes a 4x. This becomes a negative 6x, 6y. And then 2 times 26, 40, 52 is 52. All right, so good. And notice that it's lined up so that I have a positive 6y and a negative 6y. So that now when I add these together, those y's are going to cancel right out. So, let's see. Uh, 9x plus 4x, that is 13x. Y's become a 0, which I wanted to happen. And then 78 plus 52, that's 130. So I have this. Divide both sides by 13. It looks like x is 10. <laughs> So if x is 10, I can plug it back into any of these equations, figure out what y is. I'll just plug it into that top one. So 3 times x, x is 10, uh, plus 2y equals 26. So that's uh, 30 plus 2y equals 26. Subtract 30 from both sides. And what I end up with then is... 2y equals 26 minus 30 is uh, negative 4. Divide by 2, and y is equal to negative 2. So my answer is uh, x when x is 10, y is negative 2.